It is. It's just up in the tree. Let me give you a look. And there have been no moves of any ferocity on the part of the peacock, I want to let you know. We've all been hanging out here this morning, a lot of media, about a half a dozen of us, tracking the movements of the peacock. And actually, it did just take flight, putting to rest the debate over whether or not they can fly. Usually, you see them preening around the Bronx Zoo. Any parent knows they're usually all over the walkways, spreading out their tails, looking pretty gorgeous. This one has been hanging out up in the tree above the Crystal Community Garden, just about two blocks from the Bronx Zoo, but not before it had quite a night here in the Bronx. That 911 call coming in shortly before 8 o'clock last night of a man who was attacked by a peacock. Now, according to Citizen App video accounts, of people in the neighborhood. They said that he had been trying to corral the peacock so that it wouldn't get hurt, so that it wouldn't be struck by a car or anything like that. They captured some pretty good pictures of it. You could see its gorgeous colors, the, the turquoise blue and green, the, the tail following behind it. It's a beautiful bird, um, but apparently when you try to push baby into a corner and behind a gate and put your arms around it to keep it out of harm's way, that bird's going to bite back. And that's exactly Exactly what it did, according to people who talked to the man named Mike uh, on Citizen App video. They said he kind of took a chunk out of the guy's leg. They called in 911. You could hear fire department sirens at one point in time as they were responding to the scene. He didn't want to go to the hospital. Listen in as they described how this whole thing went down. Uh, nah, we, you know, we were standing outside chilling, you know, smoking, whatever. Right. And I thought I was bugging. <laughs> And then that's when we all, you know, started filming it. Then it just started running up the hill towards traffic. So, you know, we had to try to keep the birds safe. Right. You know, and we chased them all the way in. I trapped them inside the gate. He got tied it in the gate. And then he tried to pet me and said, grab my pants. So if you're in the Bronx area, be careful. There is a vicious peacock on the loose. Pet Detective Gutter Ventura on Citizen App Video narrated a lot of these escapades. We've seen a lot of wildlife in New York City. Cows on the loose from slaughterhouses. We've had reports of tigers inside of apartments in Harlem, coyotes even. Never have we seen a peacock outside of the zoo. We're live this morning in West Farms with a first. I'm Kirsten Cole, Fix 11 News. Back to you, Hazel and Dan. And